Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Um, in this video, I'm going to can the three other trout that Wolfie caught on the weekend. Now, for some reason, I accidentally deleted or my camera wasn't running when I did the first part of the video. So, what you're not going to see is me cutting up the trout and soaking them in salt water for two hours. So uh, it was four cups of water, a half a cup of unidized salt, and I just cut up the fish and soaked them for a couple of hours in that uh, brine solution. Okay, folks, here we go. Papa's home, so everybody knows I am not doing this against his will. Well, kind of against his will, but I do have his permission. Okay, these are my little um, quarter pint jars. And I have cut the fish, hopefully, the right size. Now, I went ahead and rinsed it off because it's kind of slimy. But you're supposed to be able to just fit. Uh-oh. Okay. I thought I had cut them the right length for these jars, but I guess I didn't. So, actually, you can't get any simpler than this, than this job. You slice your, uh, I've got it, that's an inch from the top. So there's not going to be a lot here. But you can take some smaller pieces. I have some smaller pieces. And you could just tuck them in right in the middle of that steak there. Okay, we're going to do a bit more cutting. Oh. Maybe I should have used half pint jars. I don't know. Alright, but we're going to put that in there. We're going to put less than a half a teaspoon because remember I soaked these in uh, I soaked these in salt water so we don't want to put too much salt in there but we want to make sure we have enough okay and then these are all going to go in the canner so when I have these all jarred up see a nice little trout steak and it'll you just curl it in on itself and it goes right in the jar that's just enough there for couple nice little sandwiches. If you got a whole stuffed piece and a small piece in there. And you know what I forgot to do folks? Nobody caught me. Nobody told me. Wipe the rim of the jar. Always, always, always. I'm going to get a fresh lid. Always wipe the rim of your jar folks. All it takes is a grain of salt or something to wreck your seal. All right, we'll be back when I have these all jarred up and in the canner. All right. All right, folks. We got eight little jars in the canner. Now, it may seem like a waste of space for um, this much for only, but there, you know what? I don't have a smaller canner, and this will do the job. I'd rather have a canner that's too big than one that's too small for the job at hand. Alrighty, we are going to bring this to a boil and we're going to vent the steam for 10 minutes just like you do anything else. Only we are going to process at 10 pounds pressure for 1 hour and 45 minutes. Okay? Um, if you live above 1,000 feet above sea level, please check manufacturer directions or look up online. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would be 15 pounds pressure, but I don't live above sea level, therefore I can't be um, giving you advice on that. Alright, we'll be back when the lid is on the canner. Alright, we've been venting a steady stream of steam for 10 minutes. We're going to put our clacker on here and, oops, sorry. And when that comes to a gentle rocking motion, we will start our timing and this will be processed for one hour and 45 minutes. So we'll see you when this stuff comes out of the canner. Okay folks, it's been one hour and 45 minutes. So we're just going to shut the heat off and we're just going to let the canner cool overnight. Morning everyone. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. Kind of looks like salmon. Well, you know what I'm going to do? So I'm going to open one of these up and I'm going to make Daddy's lunch with it. So we'll be back when uh, I'm ready to check this out. All right. Looks 
cocoa one of these and uh, see how it turned out. Oh, it smells good. Look at it, it looks like salmon or tuna or something. It's really pretty. Now how did the bones turn out? Oh, and they're soft. The bones are soft, just like salmon would be. Very cool. It's not very much though, so I think the next time I will, uh, I will uh, make more, like our, or make it maybe in a half pint jar. Sorry about that. Yeah, my dogs come running. I always, any juice from fish or whatever, I always put, um, pour it over my dog's kibble in the morning. Celery. I wanted you to taste this canned trout before I put all the mayonnaise and everything on it. Well, if this works, folks, um, I would gladly, gladly can up any trout Daddy gets. I've smothered it in mayonnaise, though. He's in his underwear, folks. Can you pass me the salt and pepper? So could you eat that instead of tuna? All right. A trout salad sandwiches. Well, one more thing to add to the food storage. I'm going to wrap these up and I've got to make his breakfast. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, as long as he can catch them and they're in season, I'll can them up. Can trout. Who'd have thunk it? Anyway, have a great day.